In this video, the goal is to introduce China's JHXX, what we know and do not know about its design, range, speed, stealth, propulsion, weapons, roles, and strategic position, detailed. Also production costs, operational timeline, and possible regional implications. Early conceptual images appeared in Chinese Aerospace Knowledge Aviation Magazine, a stealth design with twin engines, angular fuselage, and tail. Western analysts unofficially chose the designation JHXX for this project. Its philosophy was different from the strategic flying wing bomber. The Defense Intelligence Agency confirmed existence of two bomber programs, one long-range strategic H-20 bomber and another medium-range tactical bomber. The latter likely represented the JHXX in Chinese air. Operational entry before 2025 considered unlikely by assessment report. Later years, media debates questioned project continuation or cancellation. Some suggested possible suspension, focusing resources mainly on H-20. But evidence was scarce and official silence still persisted. Main question was progress beyond concept art into testing. Late 2024 images showed large prototype in flight. Daytime test above Chengdu alongside training jet J-20S. Delta-shaped body lacking vertical tail, unique intakes observed. Experts identified it as prototype JHXX undergoing testing. Stealth design emphasized broken edges and recessed exhaust shielding features. Jagged intake lips reduced frontal radar visibility during approach. Absence of vertical services further lowered radar cross-section overall. Stealth level between stealth fighters and flying wing stealth bombers. Flight philosophy emphasized supersonic dash to cross defended zones. Supercruise potential possible, but depends on domestic engine maturity. Maneuverability designed for survival, not for close dogfighting contests. High speed allows quick reaction and reduced time exposed. Estimated combat radius between 1,000 and 3,000 kilometers, shorter range than H-20, but suitable for regional missions. Operational reach extends first island chain and threatens second chain. Reduced reliance on tanker aircraft needed during extended missions. All weapons internally carried to preserve stealth characteristics entirely. Central bay designed for cruise missiles and guided bombs. Two side bays likely hold long-range air-to-air missiles. Weapons mix enables simultaneous strike and interception flexibility effectively. Primary air-to-air -air payload likely advanced long-range PL-15 interceptor missile. Direct threat to AWOC's tankers and hostile bombers evident. Carrying air-to-air -air alongside strike payload improves operational flexibility. Long-range defensive umbrella projected far beyond national borders. Propulsion probably two indigenous turbofan engines with afterburner installed. Thrust vectoring expected for improved control and safe landings. Observed prototype possibly showed ambiguous three-engine, unusual arrangement. Final production version probably twin-engine, though unconfirmed officially. Approximate length 23 to 30 meters estimated currently. Wingspan around 19 to 20 meters by various sources. Wing area near 180 to 200 square meters. Takeoff weight likely 60 tons within broad projected estimates. No official information about serial production numbers yet released. Only few prototypes for ground and flight testing assumed. Mass production depends on engines, avionics, and supply chain. Operational timeline expected mid-20s decade or later, officially. Development costs undisclosed, but certainly enormous and multi-billion level. Unit cost estimated several hundred million lower than Raider. Domestic supply chain savings could reduce per unit acquisition significantly. But stealth coatings, fatigue testing, and avionics remain expensive burdens. Primary rill tactical long-range strike against bases, radars, command employing guided bombs and penetrating cruise missiles with accuracy, reducing battlefield presence by combining speed and stealth together, supporting naval and land operations in regional scenarios entirely. 
Serious threat against hostile carrier strike groups positioned regionally, launching long-range anti-ship missiles from stealth approach distance. Synergy with satellite, maritime, and drone reconnaissance target networks, forming strong anti-access barrier within China's A2AD doctrine. Long-range interception against AWOX tankers and intruding bombers possible. Extending air defense coverage hundreds of kilometers beyond borders. Degrading hostile air support effectiveness during future combined operations. Escorting fighters as deep combat air patrols highly effective. Long-range reconnaissance capability with AESA sensors and secure data links. Functioning as airborne network node, sharing targeting data effectively. Combining passive active radar, electro-optics, and electronic warfare packages. Guiding other forces with timely, precise targeting information possible. Objective, bridging gap between tactical fighters and strategic bombers. Answering regional needs across Western Pacific theaters dynamically. Increasing operational flexibility and phased responses to crises effectively. Demonstrating indigenous technology strength and parity with advanced rivals. Strengthening regional deterrence and imposing intervention costs significantly. Completing nuclear triad alongside H-20 bomber in near future. Providing nuclear strike option if politically deemed necessary nationally. Clear message of stealth strike capability reshaping regional balance. Deployment possible from standard air bases with normal infrastructure available. Shorter runways compared with massive strategic bombers required. Maintenance of radar absorbing coatings, critical ongoing operational challenge. Two crew training required for complex multi role mission profiles. Compared with B 21, range and payload are smaller, but instead offers higher speed and tactical flexibility regionally. Stealth less than flying wing, but sufficient regionally effective. Its role complementary, not replacing strategic bomber development fully. Different from SU-57 as heavier multi-role medium bomber type. Less agile, but greater range and payload capacity provided. Focus on long-range strike, not close-range dogfight superiority. Both share advanced sensors and internal weapons bay designs. Official name unrevealed and organizational ambiguities still remain. Flight Evidence 2024 boosted belief in continuation. Further disclosures depend on Chinese security communication management. Currently, evaluations rely on open sources and expert analysis. JHXX represents medium-range, stealth, supersonic, multi-role regional bomber. Capabilities include precision strike, anti-ship interception, reconnaissance, networking. Mass production status and final costs remain undisclosed presently. Completion could reshape balance of power across Asia dramatically. 